Well, good evening. Are you having a great time? Thank you all so much for being here. I'm having a fabulous evening and so happy to have the phenomenal Kate Clinton with us tonight and the incredible Paula West. Now we're delighted tonight to celebrate the momentum that is building for the lesbian and gay, bisexual and transgender community here in the United States and around the world. Thanks really to all of you for the difference that you're making every single day. And thanks to the many companies that are represented here tonight. I wanna to thank all of our generous sponsors and our fabulous individual contributors. Uh, and thank you, a very special thank you to the Walt Disney Company for being our presenting sponsor. Thank you, George. Well, every year we come together, we have a chance to look back at how far we've come and to look forward. We come together to celebrate our momentum and to inspire one another for the journey ahead. This year, of course, we have so much to celebrate. Many of the things that have happened over the past year would be unimaginable 30 years ago. This year we're celebrating the fact that marriage equality is the law of the land in 17 states across the country and in 17 countries around the world. We're celebrating in, in 2013, Tammy Baldwin became the first out lesbian in the US Senate. And we celebrate both Supreme Court rulings last summer moving us closer to full marriage equality and the fact that we have a president and a secretary of state who are willing to stand with us to promote LGBT rights here in the United States and in places like Uganda and Russia and other parts of the world. You know, we live in an interesting time when we can be married in 17 states and we can still be fired in 29. Even more disturbing is the global reality that we can be married in 17 countries around the globe and we can be arrested and thrown in prison and even killed in 76 countries around the world simply for loving who we love and being who we are. I just came back last month from India. I did a little shopping while I was there. <laughs> Out and Equal held our very first global roundtable discussion in Bangalore. It was a powerful day, meeting with executives from six multinational companies in India about the LGBT community and the importance of our allies. The idea for the conversation started with one person, Scott Beth from Intuit. <laughs> During last year's executive forum, Scott talked about his ongoing conversations with his colleagues in Bangalore. He learned from these conversations that LGBT issues were really not being discussed. Scott wanted to support his closeted LGBT colleagues in India, and at the same time, he wanted to make sure that he was respectful of a culture that is not his own. Well, during the executive forum, Scott brought up this topic with me and a couple members of our board, including Laura Crumley from Dell. And it was, as a result of those conversations, we held the first Out and Equal Global Roundtable in January on the Intuit campus, along with employees from Dell, IBM, Citi, Thomson Reuters, and Google. Well, just one month before we were getting ready to fly halfway around the world, the Supreme Court of India recriminalized homosexual behavior. And as you can imagine, there were lots and lots of conversations, lots of questions and concerns about moving forward with the important conversation. But what we heard again and again from those executives in Bangalore was, this is the time to have this conversation. We want to talk about this and we want to talk about it now. So we focused our discussions on how allies can make a difference and the great need for LGBT equality. And this committed group of people were hungry to make a difference in their workplace and across India. So momentum is building in India, thanks to Scott and Laura. 
You know, change comes in uh, many ways, and each of you in this room has a story of taking action and making a difference. After the Supreme Court decisions this summer, Charlene Grabowski and Melanie Glennon from GE created a presentation called The Road to Equality and held workshops for employees and executives across the company and worked to completely revise GE's benefit program. Well, because Charlene and Melanie took a stand for equality, GE now offers full benefits to all married couples. On the eve of the benefit rollout, Charlene proposed to her partner, Anne, of 10 years, and they eloped to California so they could both be covered by the new policy. Thank you, Charlene. Momentum is building at a huge company like General Electric, thanks to Charlene and Melanie. A few years ago, my wife Cynthia and I were at a neighborhood party in Berkeley. Cynthia was talking with this woman, and when she introduced me as her wife, the woman kind of lit up, and she said, you've got to meet my friends Chris and Sandy. I think she just felt the need to make sure that every lesbian in Berkeley knew each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the privilege of getting to know Chris and Sandy before they became famous. Chris Perry and Sandy Steer were first married in 2004 in San Francisco, surrounded by family and friends. Then, as we all remember, California ruled against marriage equality, and their marriage became void. Well, Chris and Sandy decided that being treated as second-class citizens was unacceptable, and they took a bold stand on behalf of our entire community. They made the case that this was discrimination, and they took the case all the way to the Supreme Court and won. <laughs> Momentum is building around marriage equality thanks to Chris and Sandy. Well, every person in this room and every company you represent is making a difference. Each day we hear incredible news. I was so proud of our corporate partners as we watch company after company make a stand on our behalf when Arizona tried to legalize discrimination. Recognition of our right to love who we love is spreading even to states like Oklahoma and Utah and Texas as judges are ruling on behalf of equality. In our, in our own home state of California, transgender students are now protected by law. The arc of progress continues to bend toward justice. And it's because of the courage and commitment of people around the globe and around this room who are standing up for equality and freedom. Thank you for that. Tonight, we are honoring Chris Perry and Sandy Steer with the Out and Equal Advocacy Award. They decided to celebrate their love, and they were determined to have all the benefits and protections of any other married couple. They have championed equality for LGBT people everywhere by standing up for our right to love. Please join me in congratulating Chris Perry and Sandy Steer.